Zendaya looks fabulous in fringe at Green Carpet Fashion Awards. The Dune actress wore a gown from the Roberto Cavalli's Spring-Summer 2011 collection. Zendaya can do no wrong these days when it comes to her style. The Dune star stepped out for the Green Carpet Fashion Awards at the One Hotel West Hollywood in Los Angeles in yet another head-turning look, and wow is the only way we can describe it. Styled by Law Roach, Zendaya wore a Roberto Cavalli Spring-Summer 2011 gown. The gray sleeveless open back silk chiffon crocodile print dress had fringe details and a plunging neckline. We wish we could see this dress in motion. The Emmy winner accessorized with several pieces of jewelry. She mainly wore silver bracelets and bangles on both wrists. She also wore two arm cuffs that effortlessly matched her gown. Hot Off Her Dune, Part 2, Press Tour, Zendaya has blessed fans with a bevy of absolutely fire styles as of late. For the New York City premiere in February, she wore a white floor-length, long-sleeved dress featuring daring cutouts down the front. The dress's hem was adorned with golden sculptural details for a striking futuristic effect. But what we really need to talk about is the Mugler robot suit she wore for the film's London premiere two weeks prior. The vintage couture design, which debuted on the runway at Paris Fashion Week in 1995, is made of silver material arranged to look like robotic armor, as well as PVC-covered cutouts throughout, including on the breasts and butt cheeks. Zendaya gave a cheeky view of the butt-bearing silhouette as she posed on the carpet. Zendaya's version of the ensemble was styled almost exactly like the original, down to the metallic pumps. However, she ditched the headpiece in exchange for a sleek bun with side bangs and added on a large jewel necklace. The actress, who is also a Lancome ambassadress, kept her glam neutral with highlight on her cheekbones, bold brows, and a glossy lip. Well, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.